Hi, and welcome to Lulu's Way. I'm glad you're here. So today is Friday, and um, it's December 1st, and it was my weigh-in day today. For my last weigh-in, which is when I got home from my trip, because I hadn't weighed for a couple of months, so I weighed right when I got home, even though it was only a couple of weeks before the 1st. I still, I wanted to check ASAP. Um, I was, when I got back from Arizona, I was up a pound and two weeks later, December 1st, I was down a pound. So let's just say this pound has nothing to do with weight loss, weight gain, muscle, gaining muscle, losing fat. All it is, is a weight fluctuation. That's what my five pound weight range is about. It's all about fluctuation. Like if I stay in this five pounds, like if I'm at the low end of the five or the high end of the five, it's just, it's the same weight. In my world, it's the same weight. Um, I don't strive to be at the low end of my range or I'm not bad if I'm at the high end of my range. Um, it's just to allow for weight fluctuation because that is normal. Sometimes you can just like retain fluids more on one day than another. Maybe I was retaining fluids a lot in Arizona as my body was trying to manage um, moisture with all that dry heat, you know. So uh, I don't know. All I know is it's just a weight fluctuation. I'm right in my range. It seems like this, this food plan right now seems to be what really is just keeping me stable in my range. Um, so it works really well for me. And you know something? I'm hungry for every meal. I'm, uh, hunger is not pain. Hunger is just a God given signal that says it's almost time to eat. You might want to nourish yourself and it's very, very manageable because I can feel this hunger and I can wait. Like it's, it's not critical. Um, a lot of people, uh, are just so concerned about, well, what if I'm hungry? I want to have a snack if I'm hungry. And then, then this is why, then I get hungry. Oh, I get hungry at night and I get hungry and hungry, hungry. It's just like, you know, if you look at what you're eating in the day, if you're nourishing yourself well and not overeating, you should be comfortably hungry at times. If you're eating a lot, if it's missing nutrition, it could be that your body is hungry. It's hungry for nutrition. It's not hungry for another cupcake. You know, it never seems to get satisfied. Never. The, the, uh, because you're not satisfying what the true need is, which is nutrition. So I'm very grateful that, uh, I have it figured out because I spent 55 years of my life, uh, not having it figured out and struggling and eating too much, starving myself, going to the gym when I didn't feel like it, working out when I don't feel like it, just because I'm trying to like eat something extra. Um, I just, I don't have to do that anymore. So I'm very, very grateful that I um, found my way. So a lot of you have written to me about uh, how you've been inspired. Uh, a lot of you write to me and tell me your food shopping that you've done and the groceries that you bought this week that look different than other weeks, uh, that you're buying uh, better food, um, you're trying different uh, things in your Instant Pot, cooking veggies in your Instant Pot, um, you know, just keep doing it. Keep doing it. It's the, it's the consistency is where the results are, you know? So I think that like my vibrant health today, it's a result of cumulative wise choices. Uh, this is not an overnight project. Uh, I'm going on 10 years doing this and, uh, You know, I don't know 
what exactly I'm doing that's producing the, res the results that I'm enjoying. Um, I'm going to say it's a little bit of everything. I'm going to say it's my food choices. Um, I'm going to say that it's my supplementation and my just my natural um, active lifestyle. I don't go to the gym. I don't. Sure, you know when I was in when I was in Arizona, I did a lot of hiking, hike mountains. I can go forever. And you know what else I can do? I can sit in a chair all day too. And I did that many days too. Um, so it's not like I've got this like, oh, I'm going to go hiking and that's how I stay so fit and trim. It's I have the energy and the health to do the hiking anytime I want. And I don't do it for any weight goals. Like, I don't think like, let me go on this hike right now because, you know, maybe I'll lose a pound or, or uh, maybe next month I, I'll, I'll be down and I can get more food. Like I, I, I'm just done playing those, playing those games. I go on hikes because I like it. I sit in the chair all day because I like it. Um, so it's just, I got that all balanced out and I feel like my food is balanced out. I don't want to balance my food with, um, sugar. I don't want to have a diet where I'm like, okay, I'm going to have, I'm going to eat like this all week. And then on Sunday, I'm going to have a donut, you know, because I don't want a donut. A donut doesn't serve me well. And a donut is only going to get the sugar going through my bloodstream and it's going to wake it up. It's going to go ding, 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 ding up here. <laughs> and then I don't want one donut. I want a dozen donuts. And I don't want to, I don't want to go there anymore. So for me, uh, eliminating sugar, which is not even a food, really. It's not a food. Um, I just eliminating it is, uh, for me, the wisest choice just keeps me out of trouble, you know? And, uh, and fortunately I don't need it. And, you know, it's so much easier not to eat this stuff when you don't want it when you want it all the time and then you're not having it all the time, then you're feeling deprived all the time. But really it's about kind of changing, changing everything. And it takes time. It's a project to get to a space where it's been so long since you've eaten that stuff that it's such a distant memory that, um, you don't even crave it anymore. And once you start getting the physical benefits, of really taking really good care of yourself, that becomes the valuable thing. That becomes the treat. That becomes the treat. Oh, Lulu, don't you treat yourself? Oh, yeah. Every day I treat myself to feeling like this. And um, so, you know, I know January 1st is uh, a time of year that was always very popular time of year for me to go on my diets and lose weight. Um, I don't know how many of you are planning on that for January 1st, but, you know, perhaps we could just all take good care of ourselves and eat well together. Um, and hopefully that you feel just supported and encouraged by um, some of these videos that I make. Um, it's just, I, I, I think I'm an example of um, um, having a full life that doesn't involve food. Um, a whole full life doesn't mean like, oh, and I go to fancy restaurants and I, I go on cruises and eat lobster and dipped in butter and all these amazing pastries made by all these famous chefs from all over the world. That's not my idea of, uh, living large, you know, um, I live large by living small. It just feels like just keeping things simple just feels really comfortable for me. Um, even the way I travel is very simple and very non-dramatic. Like I don't, I'm not running around visiting and being a tourist everywhere and making sure I see everything 
wherever I am, everything that you're supposed to see wherever you are in the country. Uh, it's just not my vibe. It's just not my vibe. You know, I like, uh, I just like um, just being in the moment and whatever comes my way. Um, I can feel curious about that and enjoy that. It's just the way I enjoy it. Um, and I think it's because, um, you know, what I've learned by simplifying the food and what traditionally everybody does for a good time is with food. And I've learned to do that different. I think I've also learned to travel different from an average person that what they see what travel looks like. So I think that this has helped me uh, find me and what works for me and that I don't have to go with the crowd. Um, I don't have to diet the way everybody diets anymore, which is, uh, you know, moderating everything. I don't, I, I don't moderate everything well. I've seen it too many times that I fail at it. So I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it anymore. <laughs> I fired myself. <laughs> I fired myself from the job. Oh, so, um, you know, I had a beautiful, beautiful, big breakfast this morning. I made a, um, uh, those grains that I make, the mixed grains, uh, basmati rice, wild rice, quinoa, farro. I just made a mix of those four grains and I cooked them together and I just used them in meals throughout the week. And I had the, I had that for breakfast this morning in eggs, kind of like a grains in an omelet. So I cooked all that up in a pan and then I, uh, cut up a pear and had that on the side. And it was just the most delicious breakfast, some salt and pepper on the omelet. And it was just, it filled me right up and it's got me going into lunch, which is just perfect. So for any of you that are struggling with food, that would love to take better care of yourself, whether it's, whether it's weight related or not, I mean, you don't have to be overweight to eat, eat better, you know? Um, you know, some people here watch me solely for the food and the weight loss inspiration. Some people, uh, are subscribers here that don't have any interest in van life that, uh, that just found me because of my weight loss story. And um, to those of you who are looking for motivation, I know how it feels. I know how it feels. You're just waiting for that, um, the magic to happen. And um, uh, the magic that happens is the result of taking better care of yourself because it feels magical. So it's, it's in that order not like the magic happens. There's something magical that's going to happen. And then you're going to take better care of yourself. You take better care of yourself and then it's magical. That's been my experience. So I wish you all a beautiful holiday season. Um, it can either be filled with food at every, every Christmas party and it can be an eating frenzy of a month, December, or, uh, you can just, Start now. Why not? If not now, when?